Well, the choir is getting set up. It'll give me an opportunity to say a few words about Dana Joya, whose name should be a household word. He has recently been appointed the poet laureate of the state of California, so he's one of yours, you should know. And he's most noted for being, for seven years, the head of the National Endowment for the Arts in Washington, D.C. And under his guidance, the National Endowment for the Arts did so much for arts in our country. The Big Read, Shakespeare, jazz in, the, jazz in army bases, opera, chor, uh, choral music, art of all kinds. Dana Joya was uh, raised in Hawthorne, California, a very poor section of by the Air Force. <clears throat> Mexican mom, Italian father, never any money, went off to, to uh, Stanford University for a, a bachelor's in English, studied then at Harvard with uh, Elizabeth Bishop in English, went back to Stanford and got an MBA in business, and ended up being vice president of General Foods. In 1991, I think it was, uh, he wrote a letter to his colleagues saying, at General Foods, saying, it's been great, but I'm a poet at heart, and i got to go do that. So he bought a ramshackle farmhouse out by Santa Rosa and began writing poems and uh, opera librettos and anthologies and all of this. If you Google Dana Joy, you'll see what I'm talking about on this guy. Remarkable man. Uh, his latest book, 99 Poems, has just come out. And I think it's destined for some of the major literary awards. He is now a colleague of mine at USC. And after all of the job offers that this guy got, after that kind of resume, why did he go back to USC? Well, for, for this reason, he said, as a young man in Hawthorne, California, from a very poor school, aside from a very uh, poor family, aside from his church and his family, the two most important things to him as a young man were the Hawthorne Public Library, where he could go read books for free because his family couldn't afford to buy them, and the USC School of Music, which had concerts virtually every night of the week for free, and welcomed a young man from Hawthorne to come down and give his music. So he now teaches classes in poetry and arts leadership, and is my colleague at USC. He suffered a tragedy in his life. His firstborn son died of SIDS. That's what this poem is about. At four months old, perfectly healthy baby, and you go in and all of a sudden the baby has died. This setting of this poem, which I'm actually going to read to you, and I'm going to sing it here, is now performed around the world. And you should see the mail that Dana and I get on this from people who have lost their child to SIDS or for some other reason. What he's asking for in this poem is to, for God or the spirits or nature or what's ever out there to watch over his little boy in the most beautiful, elegant language. Echo of the clock tower, footstep in the other way. Sweep of the wind, sifting the leaves. Jeweler of the spider web, connoisseur of autumn's octopus. Blade of lightning, harvesting the sky. Keeper of the small gate, choreographer of entrances and exits. Midnight whisper, traveling wires. Seducer, healer, deater of thief, I will see you soon enough in the shadow of the rainfall, in the brief violet. Darkening the sunset. 